Hey neighbor, we got exciting news today. We got a new hopper attachment for our Hoss Garden Cedar. And folks, this right here is gonna be a game changer. Well, this is the way our cedars work. We've had this product out here for a few years and it has a plate in the bottom there. You see the plate turns and the seed falls out of the hole. Works wonderful on round, consistent seeds. But we've had problems since the get-go with inconsistent flower seeds and just real weird shape and light seeds. We knew that going into this, but we figured we could figure out a solution later on. And folks, here it is. This is the new Hoss drill hopper that all you have to do is unscrew this wing nut right here. Take this one off and this one goes right on there, just like that. It's as simple as that to change these two hoppers out. What's neat about this, this is a drill hopper. So what it will do is gonna have an agitator inside and we'll show you in a minute exactly how it works. But you see that gate right there? This is really important because this is where you dictate how much seed comes out there. This hole right here is your only limitation right there. And I think the widest part of this hole is three quarters of an inch. So a seed bigger than a three quarter of an inch, you're not going to be able to plant, but anything, no two, I said anything less than three quarters of an inch, you will be able to plant with this hopper here without any hanging up, without having to make any plates or anything. The key is this gate right here. So we designed this gate and it's a little snug in this hopper here, which is the way we want it. So you push down, now I'm gonna show you right here how I barely have it open there. So you gotta open just a little bit for little bitty small seeds, or you lift it up for bigger seeds, or if you want to plant thicker. So it's all in the gate, and all you have to do is unscrew this little wing nut right here, push that up and down to find out how far or how close, close you want it there. See those little notches there? We have little bitty depth indicators there that you can use there. This right here is wonderful because it will plant anything. Did I say anything? Let's talk about what seeds it will plant. Our current cedar and none of the rest of them on the market folks will plant zinnia seeds, but this new hopper will. Most flower seeds have what I call wings on them. They're light and fluffy and they're able when the wind blows through and these seeds are matured on the flower, they're easy to blow off and move around. And that's what makes them reproduce they can move off to a different area and come back and these seeds right here do exactly that they kind of float off in the air they're light and fluffy look how inconsistent they are in size kind of elongated there a nightmare for cedar however it will work in our new drill cedar raw carrot seeds are notorious for being hard to plant in our current hopper there we always recommend a pelletized seed but you know what pelletized seed is not always easy to get here again, those seeds, man, they're light and fluffy, kind of weird shape there. They'll be planted easy in our new drill hopper. And with carrot seeds, you don't really want to singulate them out anyway. You kind of want to band those out where you can get a kind of a little band there. This drill hopper is going to work fine with that. You don't want to place with raw carrot seed one seed down at a time. You just kind of want to strew you out or drill you out a little line of them. We can control that with our gate there. Perfect. Sunflower seeds. Now we have been somewhat successful with some of our plates, plant sunflower seeds, but I think this drill hopper is gonna be better. The problem with sunflower seeds is there again, we can see the kind of a weird shape there. And a lot of times with sunflowers, we don't necessarily wanna plant one seed at a time. We can kind of drill those in there, last little path of them down through. This is black oil sunflower here. This new drill hopper, game changer, planting sunflower seeds. Most of your cover crop seeds have those weird shapes. This right here is black oaks. See how crazy they look there, they're long. Wheat looks very similar to that. Rye looks very similar to that right there. It's really hard to plant those with a plate type planter. But with our new drill hopper, it's not gonna be any problem with any of our cover crop seeds. You'll be able to use that to plant, did I say any of our cover crop seeds? Yep, there again, game changer. Beet seed, well, beets have always been a problem there. Look how raggedy those seeds look there. They're not round. So they're kind of be kind of be tough there to plant in a plate type planter. We've had some success with that. But here again, I think beets is going to lend itself well to our new drill hopper because we're going to kind of lay us a row of a band of these out right here. We kind of like to plant our big beets a little bit on the thick, thick side. 
Also, if you want to do some type of mix where the seeds are different, you'll be able to use in our new drill hopper. Imagine food plots. It's going to be wonderful for that. You can go out there to your, your uh, hunting woods there, take this drill hopper, put it in the back of your truck, put it on your four-wheeler, run out there, and you got a planter, a push planter, that's going to be able to plant those food plots for you. Well, today I'm going to plant Super Bleed Facilia. Now, I got a spot right here that I had buckwheat on. I'm going to lay it out a little bit more. Need to plant something for those native pollinators. Super Bleed Facilia is very small seed, tough to plant, but this drill hopper is going to work wonderful for that. So we're going to plant this entire spot here with our new drill hopper, Super Bleed Facilia. Now, this is the components and how you put the new... Uh, drill hopper on pretty simple there it will actually come with the gate already installed there so once we take the other hip hopper off we just simply put it on there it's got these little uh things right here to catch into the and the line on the seater there then here's the agitator see this little doohickey here we put that in there and it's got uh, a thing down at the bottom of d-shape that we have to catch in on our gear there got that in there then we put what we call our long washer on top. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about this long washer just in case you're wondering why you got to have that. If you didn't have that long washer on top, this nut would self-tighten and it would eventually tighten down so much it wouldn't move. So we have to have that to keep this from tightening down so much. So we just want to put that on there. And this is the same one that holds your other hopper on there. So you want to keep up with that wing nut there. It's just a quarter inch wing nut. Tighten it down snug. And there you have it, folks. Watch that agitator go round and round there. And it just pushes those seeds out. Now we've got to set it for our Super B Facilia. These seeds here are itsy bitsy, uh, about the size of lettuce seed, but they're not round, they're oblong. So we've got to set our gate pretty close, pretty tight down at the bottom of that area, because we don't want to see them real thick. So I'm gonna push that down. Now may, you may have to test a little bit to get it just right here. But I don't know if you can see. See if you can see in there how much opening I got there. I think that's going to be pretty close to what I need. Now the hopper doesn't have an on and off switch. But it's pretty simple the way you transport it or you get to the end of the row and turn around without seeds coming out. You just simply pick up the back tire and roll it this way. And that keeps that agitator from pushing any seeds out. So as I'm transporting to the spot I want a seed, I do that. Or when I get to the end of the row and I want to turn around, I just pick it up and move it around. And then I get ready to start seeding again, put it back down, let my drive wheel take over. Now these are small seeds and generally speaking, the smaller the seed, the shallower you want to plant it. So I've adjusted my depth adjuster. So I'm planting about a quarter to three eighths inch deep. In the past with such crops as super beef and sea and other cover crops, what we had to do is we had to spread them out with a shoulder mounted spreader and then we had to manually rake them in to get them underneath the uh, soil there. We couldn't plant in rows. With this drill hopper here, you're gonna save a lot of seeds. So your seeding rate with a drill hopper is at least half as what the uh, broadcast is. You get a lot better germination because you're getting every seed covered up there. You're planting in rows exactly where you want to plant. You're not throwing seeds where you don't want them to go. So we're excited about it. I don't know if I mentioned, but I think it's a game changer. This right here is going to solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. I can't imagine a situation where this is not going to work here. All those unusual seeds, all those unusual mixes that you've had problems with in the past, now you can use the drill hopper to seed them out just like you want them.